to play your rebounds or not to play your rebounds? That is the question. I was asked this question recently by a goalie who was wondering if playing out his rebounds after every shot in his goalie skate in practice was going to be detrimental to his hips and his groins long term. And this got me thinking, well, when we're doing goalie skates, we're addressing specific areas of weakness, and we also want to try to make things as specific as they would be to a game. In games, you have to follow your rebound after every shot. So the first instinct would be, yes, you should follow every save and play it out as you would in a game. But we aren't living in a vacuum and things are never black and white. When I decide whether I let my goalies play out their rebounds, it comes to four specific things. The first is injury status. If they are injured or recovering from injury and they're not cleared for full practice, no, I'm not gonna let them battle it out. The second is recovery status. I use different athlete tracking data to help determine whether my athlete is fully recovered. If they have suboptimal or poor recovery, then I need to tell them, hey, maybe it's not worth it to play out every rebound. The third is the focus of the drill. If I'm working on something specific with the goalie, I want them to focus only on that and not the rebound. I also don't want to tire them out because that will take away from focusing on the purpose of the drill. And the fourth is the age or skill level of the goalie. Younger goalies should be playing out most or all of their rebounds so that they can develop those motor patterns and good habits. I've included an algorithm to this video, but that's kind of how I make my judgments on whether to let my goalies to play all the rebounds or not.